Welcome to another one of my own event videos. This one is not about this esoteric transport, which is just being so tested. It is about the Lin SACD player repair. As you see, it's still sitting in a box. The owner asked me to replace a um, laser mechanism in it, as it doesn't read SACDs. It still reads the Red Book discs, but not SACDs. So, a good start to replacing any laser mechanism, at least these days, is to first earth yourself. Earth yourself with the wrist strap that goes to your earthing mat. That in turn is earth to the earth pin of your power point. So having done that, you can then remove the uh, new laser from the anti-static bag. Next step is to look for the shorting link. Shorting link is there to prevent damage by static electricity. And really that shorting link should be only removed when the thing is fully installed. If it's practicable, if not, you have to do it sometimes a bit earlier. On this particular unit, you can see there's only one candidate that really does this blob over there. Uh, this blob over there serves no other purpose, it's big. Normally those shorting links are big. So you go to the same spot on the old mechanism and you can see that... Oh, can you? <laughs> that is not there, oh, trust me, it probably doesn't focus very well, but, but that has been removed over there. I don't know if I can zoom it on it or, or not. Uh, I just want to focus well. Oh, yeah, that's, I think, pretty good now. Well, it was for a moment. Anyway, trust me on that, that there, is, that, that there used to be a shorting link. They are in different places, in different mechanisms. On KSS 151A, it is right here on the ribbon. People who put in this $400 mechanism didn't know that, and of course it didn't work, and, and later they rerouted the cable wrong and tore it away, so they've ruined $400 mechanism so yes you can do it yourself uh, I mean what could possibly go wrong uh, it's all mechanical uh, just a few precautions and uh, and look for those shorting links till next time goodbye